I've been instructed by my public relations team to read the following statement. Recent extreme Western Canadian winter weather conditions have resulted in significant decreases in the volume of video content produced by the team here at Rad Garage. For those of you who rely on Rad presentations to help mitigate the negative impact of day-to-day -day stress, strain, and fatigue, we sincerely apologize. Thankfully, weather conditions in this region of the country have improved, so please enjoy this video that showcases my attempt to restore the properties of my Dr. Beasley's Nano Resin Pro ceramic coating. Enjoy. so great to be back with all of you after my weather-imposed exile. Uh, I've been holding off on doing any detailing projects in the garage because it's just so, it has been so super cold. Even though my garage does allow me to perform washes year-round, uh, with the temps dipping so low as they did recently, uh, my concern was that uh, remaining trace amounts of water would freeze uh, when I parked my car outside at work. So the last thing I need is a door, a door handle or a gas filler cap to freeze shut, which I've had happen in the past. However, with the return of mild temperatures, I'm going to make up for lost time and perform a much needed wash on my trusty winter war wagon. For those of you that follow me, you will recall that Alex and I coated the SQ5 with Dr. Beasley's Nano Resin Pro last summer. Uh, since then, it has been subjected to some of the harshest conditions imaginable, and I'm not even exaggerating. Approximately a week after install, the SQ5 was showered with fallout from a wildfire, which resulted in substantial water spotting that I addressed in a video. I think that contributed uh, to the initial clogging of the coating and it hasn't been delivering the satisfying hydrophobics I think that a lot of us sort of come to uh, expect with these higher level coatings. And to make matters even worse, winter has subjected this car to just an obscene amount of abuse. Um, in addition to the usage of caustic road salt, uh, extreme fluctuations in temperatures, traction material um, consisting of pea-sized gravel and, uh, with corrosive blends of calcium and magnesium, uh, magnesium, magnesium chloride, you know, mud, slop, snow, sleet, freezing rain, you name it. Uh, this coating has been facing it all on a daily basis for months now. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. I have this entire day dedicated to doing whatever I can do to rejuvenate uh, this Dr. Beasley's Nano Resin Pro coating. Um, I'm fortunate to have quite a few friends in the detailing industry. Thank you, YouTube. And I have Chris Ricana from Dr. Beasley's on speed dial. And Chris put me in touch with Lance Beckett, who is a professional detailer down in, I think it's Knoxville, Tennessee. Lance helped me sort of draw up today's game plan. And I'll go into the game plan in a second, but I just want to quickly just share a little bit of information about this particular coating I have on this car. Nano Resin Pro is an elastomeric coating. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but what this means is that 
as my car's panels move, flex, expand and contract due to temperature fluctuations, the Nano Resin Pro is able to move with the paint. Um, but this flexibility comes at the expense of total hardness, ultra hardness. So all of this translates into a coating that is more susceptible to clogging. And I strongly suspect that is what is happening here. Uh, because Nano Resin Pro is a chemically resistant coating, I feel comfortable that I can get a bit aggressive with today's contamination wash. The first step in today's process will be addressing the wheels and tires. I'm going to be giving Glovebox RX's new wheel cleaner a whirl for the first time. And I'll use Ar De sorry, Armor Detail Supply Tire Cleaner. And once the wheels and tires are pristine, I'm going to apply a foam treatment, including Coach Chemi's GSF. Don't worry, I'll be sure to include lots of drippy, spellbinding footage of that process. Um, and I'll let that GSF dwell and then rinse it from bottom to top to maximize the soap um, that will be clinging to the, to the panels. So that should effectively remove the bulk of the chemical crust. Next, I'm going to spray down the exterior with iron by Gion and rinse that off. And that'll help flush out any contaminants that might be lurking on the surface of the paint. Um, I'll follow up with a second layer of foam, but this time I'm going to add a little bit of Coach Kemi's Green Star to the GSF just to give it a little bit of bite. And then I'll perform a contact wash using my trusty Car Pro wool mitt. And if that all goes according to plan, we should see the return of some hydrophobic properties that have been lost. And I'll be sure to include some footage of water behavior throughout the process. And I'm also going to include some footage of the master blaster uh, blowing the water off the surface of the car. Um, and I'll finish things off with a quick and easy application of Dr. Beasley's Bead Hero to lock everything in. Okay, that's a lot of dialogue for a rad presentation. I hope I haven't lost too many of you. And for those of you that are still here, I want you to sit back, grab a snack maybe, enjoy the show, and I'll be back with you at the end to share some final thoughts on the process. All right, stick around.
So this car looks great, don't get me wrong, the paint is well protected, but it just is not providing those satisfying hydrophobics. But uh, what I'll do now is I'll go over it with Bead Hero. Um, this will add some hydrophobics. It's a little confusing, you know, it's, uh, it might actually just be a testament to just how harsh road conditions are up here. Um, I complain about it a lot and people, people will say, oh yeah, it's same where I am, but um, I defy anyone to find a place that puts more aggressive salt on the road. And because it's so cold, then so warm, then so cold, I don't really have a chance to wash the car. Like this thing's going to stay clean for about three minutes. Um, I actually have to get going here because my son's got a hockey game tonight. But I'll finish off with, uh, like I said, a final spritz of Dr. Beasley's Bead Hero. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, talk, uh, you know, talk to me about what, what you think I could do. Would you be satisfied? And uh, lastly, I just want to send out a special thanks again to Chris Ricana and Lance Beckett for um, taking the time to, to work with me on this. And like I said, I'm still a little perplexed, but you know, the car looks great. It's clean as can be. And uh, the only thing that I noticed was a little nick down here on this front driver's side wheel. I think I know what happened there. I think I clipped a little curb when I was parking at the mall during the Christmas rush. But um, I hope you'll uh, enjoy this final footage of this project and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all those great things. But I gotta get going. So until next time, stay right. i